The Sandman airs on Netflix this week and the small screen adaptation had been branded unfilmable by production companies. Yet with the original comic creator Neil Gaiman on board, the latest adaptation has already received praise. Although Gaiman spoke to Express, UK and other press about the 2022 series being labeled as woke. The Sandman is a fantasy drama series based on comics of the same name from the late 80s and early 90s. The story follows Dream, otherwise known as Morpheus, played by Tom Sturridge, after he is trapped in the real world for more than a century. This is not the first time efforts to adapt the story have been attempted, as a film was considered. However, it was trapped in development limbo for many years, eventually making a shift to television. The Netflix series starts in 1916 when Morpheus, one of the Endless, is captured and his kingdom faces chaos. Parts of the series are set in the present day, with Dream's other siblings making an appearance. Gaiman told Express.co.uk, setting it now has been kind of liberating although wasn't changed anywhere near as much as we thought it would. I think honestly the main thing that I have taken from being 34 years after Sandman began is that we got a lot of stuff right. We were a bit ahead of our time. I find that intensely reassuring. It certainly wasn't what we expected to find but the stories appear to have held up incredibly well. He went on to discuss the politics of the show and the backlash he received. He said, at the time I was doing Sandman I was getting flack for the fact that Sandman didn't have politics in it because everybody else was doing comics that had politics in and you knew they had politics because they would draw Margaret Thatcher with vampire teeth. People were saying Sandman is completely apolitical, I don't think it is. But maybe it isn't in the way you think. The creator said he is now getting remarks relating to some of the creative choices in the Netflix series. He added, I'm, getting attacked now by idiots for making Sandman woke. I'm going, well whatever you are complaining about we did 35 years ago, we did it back then and it seems to have worked back then. And we are doing it now so, this is how it's been. Alan Heinberg, the show's screenwriter, said the reason the Netflix adaptation will be so successful is because of Neil Gaiman's input. He said, the only way to do this is to do it faithfully and to do it with the author and Warner Brothers said absolutely, I was very fortunate in that they were both too busy to write it themselves at that time and so David S. Goyer invited me into the collaborative process and Neil and I met and started working together and now here we are three years later. Boyd Holbrook plays the antagonist the Corinthian in the series and he said he was excited to portray the cult-like figure. He said, he can't be this abrasive bulldozer kind of guy, has got to look the part and play the part. I think that's what he really is, as a chameleon and he kind of shapeshifts to what he needs to be to get what he wants. I found that was a really nice choice to do because it's an expansion on what was in the comics. The Sandman airs on Netflix on August 5th.